Hey, what's up YouTube's me Andrew here. Today I'm doing my full review on the all new HP X360 2-in-1 11.6 inch touchscreen laptop. Let's see if this laptop is worth your hard earning bucks. Alright, let's get started. With the success of the Lenovo Yoga series, HP has decided to launch its own lineup of 2-in-1 laptops. And this is the HP Pavilion X360. This laptop offers multiple modes just like the Lenovo Yoga series. Alright, let's go ahead and break down the specs. This laptop features an Intel Pentium N3520 running at 2.17 GHz. This processor is based off the Baytrail M platform. 4 GB of RAM. For the display, we have 11.6 inch LED backlit high definition touchscreen with a resolution of 1366 by 768. This laptop runs Microsoft Windows 8.1 and the retail price of this laptop is $399 US. Next up, let's talk about design and build quality. This laptop features a stunning design in smoke silver with an aluminum brush like finish. This laptop is pretty lightweight. The weight comes in at 3.1 pounds, which is very similar to the Lenovo Yoga 211, which I previously reviewed. Be sure to check out that review as well. And the thickness of this laptop is about 0.9 inches. Let's take a look at the front. Next up, let's take a look at the brush line aluminum finish that HP put on the interior. This laptop just looks stunning with that interior. Overall, HP did an excellent job in terms of design and build quality, especially at this price point. Next up, let's test out the boot speed on the 500GB 5400 RPM hard drive. We're still booting up. And we're done. This laptop booted up in about 20 seconds, which is about average. Next up, let's talk about display quality. This laptop features an 11.6 inch LED backlit high definition touchscreen display with a resolution of 1366 by 768. For the most part, the colors on this panel were good. However, some images look washed out compared to other panels I've tested. The brightness levels on this LED backlit display was pretty good. Next up, let's test out the touchscreen performance on this panel. Let me go ahead and launch the MSN website. Let's go ahead and scroll down. Next up, let's test out the multi-touch. So far, pretty good. Double tap to zoom works great as well. Let's go ahead and swipe to the left. So far, the response has been excellent. Overall, the touchscreen performance on this panel has been very good considering its price point. Next up, let's take a look at our ports here on the left side of the laptop. Starting from the left, you got your Kensington security slot, power button, exhaust port for your fans, USB 2.0, headset port, and your volume button. Alright, let's take a look at the ports on the right side of the laptop. Starting from the left, you got your hard disk indicator, an SD card reader, USB 2.0 port, USB 3.0 port, HDMI output, Ethernet port, and your AC power port. Alright, next up, let's see why they call this laptop the Pavilion X360, because it has multiple modes. Let me go ahead and show you right here. The first mode we have here is our laptop mode. Next mode we have here is our stand mode. Here you can kick back and relax and watch a movie more comfortable. Next up, we have our tent mode. Here you can sit back and relax on a small table and start browsing the web and working on your documents. And finally, we have our tablet mode. Let me go ahead and flip it down. And there it is. Ergonomically, it wasn't as comfortable in tablet mode compared to the Lenovo Yoga series. I just wish HP made the bezel on the top and bottom lineup together. That would have made it more comfortable than use in tablet mode. However, at 3.1 pounds, I rarely use the tablet mode. And there you have it. With the all new HP Pavilion X360, you have multiple modes to choose from that you'll enjoy. Next, let's talk about the processor. This laptop features an Intel Pentium N3520 running at 2.17 GHz with a turbo boost up to 2.42 GHz. The N3520 is meant for light duty productivity like word processing, watching YouTube videos, browsing the web, and playing light duty games. If you need something with more power, I would recommend checking the Lenovo Yoga 11S, which features a 4th generation Intel Core i5-4210Y. Alright, let's go and take a look at some benchmarks for the N3520. We're going to use Geekbench 3 64-bit version. For the single core score, I got 1036. And for the multi-core score, I got 3,230. Next up, let's take a look at Cinebench R15. For the CPU, I got a score of 140 CB. Next up, let's test out the Intel HD graphics based on the Bay Trail architecture. For the graphics test, we're going to use 3D Mark. For the Firestrike 1.1, I kept getting an error, so let's go ahead and ignore that. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. For CloudGate 1.1, I got a score of 1,540. And for iStorm 1.2, I got a score of 20,974. With these scores, you can expect to play light duty games like Counter-Strike, World of Warcraft, and Minecraft on low settings. But don't expect to play many of today's high-end games like Call of Duty and Battlefield 4. Next up, let's talk about keyboard performance. This laptop features a 97% size island style keyboard. Typing on this keyboard has been pretty good considering its small footprint and size. Is it a very good keyboard? No, but who would expect that in an 11-inch laptop? 
Let's go and take a look at the key travel here. As you can see, it offers a decent amount of key travel. Next, let's talk about trackpad performance. The trackpad on this laptop has been phenomenal. Whether I'm browsing the web or navigating the Windows 8 menu, this trackpad has been an enjoyable experience. Thank you HP for using Synaptics as its manufacturer of the trackpad. As many of you know, Synaptics makes one of the best trackpads out there. Battery life has been good. On average, I'm able to get anywhere from 3.5 to 4.5 hours out of a full charge with screen brightness at around 80%. Next up, let's talk about fan noise. The Intel Pentium N3520 ran pretty cool during normal usage. And with HP CoolSense enabled, this laptop ran very efficient. Only time I could hear the fan was during heavy usage. During normal usage, the fan noise is not an issue. Next up, let's talk about speaker quality. This laptop features the Beats Audio speakers, which sound pretty impressive for their size. There are two speakers facing the bottom front, and once you get the equalizer adjusted, you'll enjoy the sound quality from these speakers. Alright, next up we're going to test out the hard drive performance. This laptop features a 500GB 5400 RPM hard drive. For the test, we're going to use Crystal Disk Mark. For the sequential read speed, I got a score of 107.9 megabytes a second, and for the write speed, I got a score of 110.7 megabytes a second. With these kind of speeds, you can expect average performance from your traditional 5400 RPM hard drive. Alright, this concludes my full review on the all new HP Pavilion 11 N010 DX touchscreen laptop. If you're looking for an affordable laptop that offers solid performance for light duty applications, as well as multiple modes that you can enjoy, then look no further than the all new HP Pavilion X360. Be sure to check out my full review on one of its direct competitor, the Lenovo Yoga 211. Alright, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please click that like button and please subscribe for more upcoming videos. Alright, thanks guys. Peace.